So DJI, they're a company out of Shenzhen, China, and they're the market leader in consumer and enterprise uh, drones. Um, mm. Last I checked, I think they have a, a private valuation of about like 15 billion. And um, they've been around for a little bit over 10 years, but they pretty much pioneered what it is to be like a consumer enterprise drone and their first out-of-the-box solution that worked without needing to have an engineering degree or one now was the phantom one which was released in january of 2013. so would you say dji is like the the apple of drones something like that absolutely absolutely dji uh they're like a crown jewel their technology is great they've uh. been in the industry for for a very long time um their product experience is fantastic they're vertically integrated in, in such a sense that they develop all of their own hardware, their own batteries, their own motors, propellers, uh -huh. et cetera. Um, they're very early in the industry too. They were pretty much the first drone company to be able to enter the consumer drone market where an everyday person could actually buy a drone and use it without necessarily having to have a lot of expertise in the topic. Do you think um, the ability to get in so early was because it took advantage of where most of electronics manufacturing is done, Shenzhen? Absolutely. So DJI Global was started by a, a gentleman by the name of Frank Wang. He started the company in his dorm room when he was a, a college student. Back then, DJI really started with flight controllers, which is like the brain of the vehicle that uh -huh. helps keep it like, you know, flying and, and and, and whatnot. Their first consumer product was the Phantom. And it's funny though, because like um, uh, one of my previous employers, my boss uh, was Colin Gwen, who was the founder of DJI North America, which mm. was their first office in the US. The way Colin says it, Colin ran into Frank at a trade show and he talked Frank into building eventually what became the Phantom One. Long story short, they, they launched it, I think it was in BNH Photo, the, the website. And they, it was a really small release. It was probably a handful, five, ten drones. Mm -hmm. um, they sold out in less than a day. Wow. <laughs> they sold out really quickly. And they ended up asking for more. And I believe they sent like something like a dozen or two dozen for the next batch, which was the following week. And they sold out in an hour. And uh, <laughs> then after that, the way Colin says it is uh, he got a phone call from them and they asked, how much can you fit in a shipping container? Mm -hmm. And a lot of people say that that's how the drone industry got kicked off. And before we knew it, that, that company went from a few million in revenue the previous year to 150 million in revenue in about a year and a half after the Phantom released. Uh -huh. And uh, nowadays they have something like 70% market share in North America. About three out of every four drones sold here is a DJI. Three out of every four? Yeah. That's a monopoly. It's, yeah, it's, like, they're really good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, wow. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm glad we had that discussion because it shows how you were at the forefront of, uh, you know, working with uh, a company that is basically one of the first to get this started. And uh, now you're working on technology that is a little bit more advanced.